In the new show, Sunnyside, Cal Penn plays Garrett, a Queens councilman who has an abrupt fall from grace. Boy, does he. As he tries to fix his life, Garrett ends up meeting a very interesting cast of characters who enlist his help along the way. We need a teacher and we need a place to study. And we need you to call someone to make that happen. Preferably someone who has not humiliated himself as flagrantly as you have. Or you could just make a citizen. Actually, a city councilor can't just make someone a citizen. Oh, whatever, just do it. Please, please, we're just asking you to make one phone call. You can convince anyone to do anything. I once saw you give a speech at the opening of Wahlburgers down on Northern Boulevard. It almost made me want to eat there. <laughs> <laughs> and executive producer, writer, and star Cal Penn is here with us now. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Happy good to here. see you. So, I mean, sounds like this was ripped from the headlines. It's a politician's fall from grace. I mean, it's a yeah. group of people looking for citizenship. Um, how did this actually come about? How did you get started with this project? You actually started writing it like five years ago. Yeah, right? about five years ago. It's funny. Every time somebody says, oh, it looks like it's ripped from the headlines, I'm like, man, this really does happen. A yes, lot, yes, it, it does. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no, about five years ago, I was on a very short-lived comedy and when that ended um, you know kind of thought well what's my dream if I could pitch something and the dream would be something that makes you feel good you know like a feel-good comedy sort of like the ones that we had when we were kids Fresh Prince or Seinfeld yeah, stuff that yeah. you f makes you feel like you spent a half hour with friends of yours yes um, and I thought about what that would look like and I always liked the idea of the underdog or somebody who's really just kind of a terrible person like Jack Donahue and, and 30 yeah. Rock right yeah, you can't yeah. take your eyes off of them even right. you know you shouldn't like them and you them. love them anyway yeah yes. exactly and yes. so the idea of teaching a class like head of the class from when we were kids yes. shows like that uh, was it seemed to me a cool way to seek redemption and I, I live in New York City I wanted it to be set here selfishly um, and I but thought how Queens you settle on Queens. Sunnyside yeah. how, how Sunnyside <laughs> yes so, how okay, did that so, happen of all all the cities in the world. Queens what is title? the most diverse place in America, so I thought, what a great opportunity to be a patriotic comedy, but also there's just no shortage of material to pull from. Yeah. Uh, I know Jackson Heights and Flushing way better than I know Sunnyside, but Flushing turns out to be a terrible title for a show. Right. <laughs> so I was like, well, Sunnyside it is. Oh, Sunnyside's a cool, you know, it's a, it's a small town feel in the middle yeah. of, uh, of this huge borough, but it's such a fun, feel-good comedy. It is. Um, about people from all over the world who make yeah. their homes. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, that the characters, they're unique, they're dynamic. It's like, did it take you a while to get the perfect combination of people? And they're all from immigrant families? Or? Uh, the mo for the most part, yeah. They're either immigrants themselves or the, the kids of immigrants. For our, That goes for our writing team as well. And yeah. that was a really cool exercise because the misnomer in Hollywood is, well, it's going to be really hard to find people like right. that. It's really hard to find performers of color or women or funny comedians. <laughs> no, I'm like, it's not. Not really. <laughs> our rule number one was bring us the funniest people, period. Yeah. And you end up, I think, five out of the seven of our cast are stand-up comics. Our writers are hilarious. Yeah. Um, every single table read we have every week is, uh, I mean, you can see me glowing. It's, 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 yeah, it's yeah. embarrassing. Awesome. It's a pleasure, right? I feel, yeah, I feel like I can't believe this is a job because yeah. they're so funny. And the diversity that they have only yeah. adds to the nuance. Um, you know, it's not forced. It's ce uh, celebrated in a way that I think yeah. as New Yorkers we can all relate to. Yep, absolutely. Tell us about the hilarious story about your character's name, Garrett, and how that <laughs> came to be and his sister. Yeah. Valerie. <laughs> so, look, I, in my career I've played some characters with really interesting names names right. right my first role more than 20 years ago maybe was uh, Taj Mahal in Van Wilder <laughs> like thankfully you can't name a character that nowadays but it was a different time and people were you know not everybody was happy with uh, a character being named that as right. they should be right uh, and then when I was on house I played a guy named Lawrence Kuttner and I know a lot of a lot of Indian folks said why do you have to play a guy named Lawrence Kuttner yeah. why can't he be like Samir or something yeah, right it's like well I auditioned for a guy named Lawrence Kuttner I want to play Lawrence Kuttner yeah so I thought for this what do we name uh, my character and his sister and I thought, well, the backstory should be funny. So yeah. the backstory is his parents moved to the United States, and their favorite TV show was Different Strokes. Yeah. And they loved Mrs. Garrett because she was so hardworking. <laughs> then they discover the facts of life, and they're like, wait a second, Mrs. Garrett? <laughs> <laughs> Our firstborn American son has to be named after Mrs. Garrett. He has to work yeah. as hard. Which is why, yeah, which yeah. is why Garrett, and then of course he becomes a, a, a total screw up. Right. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of the runner of the joke that you find yeah. out. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you can catch Sunday's Night Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. on NBC. Cal, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Great for having me yeah. back. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you.